This is my Nikon D5100 camera. I bought this camera in 2021, around the end of 2021, when I wanted to take my YouTube journey seriously. Now, when I bought this camera, sincerely, I was clueless about cameras. I didn't know, you know, what type of camera to buy or who to trust to get advice me or anything like that. I just went to the market and I told them I need a camera that I can use for vlogging. Luckily, I met an amazing person that advised camera. Now, this camera actually came with a lot of um, amazing features. All right, you can actually film at a close range or you can actually adjust. It has an adjustable part here to be able to zoom in and zoom out. All right, it also has this amazing setting here for a new vlogger, you can just put it on auto and be able to use it just like it is. But I had to set mine because my videos I make are usually sit down videos. So I had to change the setting, okay, for mine. If you would like to see a video of the setting of my camera exactly, let me know in the comments. Now with this camera, you can actually see yourself when you're filming. So it has this part, you can actually snap yourself, okay? So just set a timer. The memory space, yes, when I bought it, it actually came with a memory, okay, space. I think this is actually a 64 gig memory I have here, so I can film as much as I can without worrying, all right? Another feature I like about this camera is the holder. All right, you can see here it has this shape that doesn't have anything here. So even if I hold it this way, I'm not pressing against anything, which makes it very, very amazing for vlogging. All right, it has this part, these buttons here where you can play, delete anything that you don't like that must have recorded. All right, check out the setting area around here, but you can just hold it when you're holding it here without pressing any of that button. So it really makes vlogging very very easy so that's another reason i like this particular camera another thing is that you can also do a little bit of flash so there's a lightning here now when i bought this camera buy this mic okay the mic did come with it i bought it separately it's a boya mic and the mic is really amazing and it's very very easy to use all i need to do is to you know attach it to the top okay of my camera and then I just go ahead and plug it in here, all right? I just go ahead and plug it in here, and I'm good to go. The volume is very good. It does a very good job with the recording. I don't really have to worry about the volume, all right? Another thing I had to get was extra lightning because I no longer use this flashlight down here. So I have to get an extra lightning, all right? So I have this. This I actually bought separately, so you can see it's another brand. It's not a Nikon brand, all right? It's under. I have to buy this. So with this, I get extra lightning, all right, for my camera, all right? But I like to film when there's daylight, okay? So I prefer to do that. But when, once in a while, when I have to, you know, film when there's no light, I have to fix this so that I can get a good lightning. All right, so once I have this on, I can now add this to the top of my camera, all right? So you can see it looks like a complete set. You can see that right here. So you can see that right here. So with this, when I'm filming, I can easily turn on the light and then the light is working. Now, another thing I got with this camera was a stand, it's a smaller one. So with this, I can really do a lot. Just get my camera to you know be here and I can stand it because my videos I do are mostly sit down videos I had to get this holder now this is also a just like a smaller version of this one all right but this is easier for me to navigate so now another thing that came with the camera okay is the cord this is the cord I used to transfer my footage from the camera to my laptop before I start editing now they came with one battery but I had to get an extra battery. Another thing I use for filming, which I am using right now to film this video, is a mobile phone, phone right here. You can see it from the screen. It has a stand. Most of the time, sincerely, this is what I film with, both for my live streams and some of the videos you see on my channel. I use this particular phone that you're seeing right now to film. A Techno Spark. 
and the camera is really really beautiful the volume is good it's another boya mic with this mic i really don't have to shout and you can see that's what i have here currently with this mic and my phone i'm good to go lightning is very very important when it comes to creating a very good youtube video right now with this video you're watching right now i am filming it with natural light so but when the weather is dark or when it's rainy i have this light okay that i use like i showed you it just gives me more light although it's a small light i'm hoping towards getting a bigger one when youtube start paying big money i also got this from my husband okay it's actually a table lamp most of the time I do live stream in the night, I actually use this Tantala lamp you are seeing here. Although it's not a white light, but it does get the job done. So you can see the lightning I have here. It just makes the video pop a little bit more. So I also film on my laptop sometimes. Yes, yeah. my laptop is an Acer, an old Acer laptop. I've had this laptop and sometimes I actually film with my laptop. But I... But why I don't really enjoy filming with it a lot is because the camera, okay, is not really a good one. I'm talking about the webcam that came with it. It's not very good. So when I film with it, the quality is really poor. So I recently bought this Logic camera. Yes. So with this camera, it's actually a webcam. I can film and, you know, with my laptop. So most of the video you see, I do on Spreakastomatic. I actually use this webcam. Or notice I share my screen, maybe I'm doing a tutorial, I'm sharing my screen, I'm showing my right. I usually use this. Okay, I can't do that with the camera. I use this logic camera to really get the job done. Logic camera and this one, alright? Both of them combined together gives me okay, good quality filming. Go ahead and watch the video that appears just now. I share with you how to trim your YouTube video after upload. See you in that video.